Hi guys, good day. It's me, Teacher MJ, or topic for today. It's all about plotting points on a Cartesian plane. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So in the Cartesian plane class, the horizontal line, this line, is what we call the x-axis. I will just label it x. And the vertical line is what we call the y-axis. And I will just label it y. Now the center part, this part, the intersection of x and y, the center part, this one right here, is what we call the origin. Now the value for the origin, that would be 0, 0. 0 for x, and then 0 for y. So that's the origin. Now for the x-axis, on the right side of this origin, for the x-axis, those are positive numbers. And on the left side of this x-axis, those are negative numbers, starting from the origin. So negative numbers on the left, positive numbers on the right. Now for y-axis, above the origin, we have positive numbers. And below the origin, we have negative numbers. Alright, so that's for y and x. Now, in the Cartesian plane class, we also have what we call the quadrants. So we have four quadrants. For quadrant 1, so for quadrant 1, of course, you need to follow the ordered pair. Always remember this one because when you plot the points, you always follow the ordered pair. What do you mean by the ordered pair, sir? Ordered pair, it means that x and y. X comes first before Y. So it's always X, Y. Okay, so you will you will grab the points or you will plot the points. You will start at the X axis. X and then Y. So for quadrant 1, X. So this is this is the, actually the quadrant 1 because this part, this is the quadrant 1. So for quadrant 1, for X is positive. And Y is also positive. So that's the good thing about quadrants. If you know it is quadrant 1, if you memorize, if you memorize the, the signs for quadrant 1, you already know that quadrant 1 is positive, positive. Therefore, for letter A, example number 1, plot this point A, 3 and 4, X is 3 and Y is 4, all positive numbers, you already know that you will plot these points in quadrant 1 because quadrant 1, it says positive, positive. So for quadrant 2, this will be our quadrant 2. For quadrant 2, x is negative and y is positive. So for quadrant 2, the signs will be negative for x, positive for y. So if you have a given negative for x, positive for y, so letter C, we have letter C, or number 3, negative for x, positive for y. So therefore, we will plot these points here in the second quadrant. So for C. So that's the good thing about quadrant. So for quadrant 3, this part. So X is negative and Y is also negative. So if we have given points negative, negative for X, negative for X, negative for Y. So example letter number 2. Therefore, you will plot this in quadrant T and quadrant 3, this part. And for quadrant 4, so X is positive and Y is negative. So that's the good thing about quadrants. Alright, so now we will plot these points, 1, 2, 8. So of course, in making the Cartesian plane class, this one, in making this Cartesian plane, you need to check, okay, you need to check the given numbers so that you will, because sometimes you don't have enough space on the graphing paper. So you need to check for the x-axis, what will be the value of the, the largest value for x. So x-axis class, x comes first before y, so x-axis is the first number. So I check the numbers, and the, la the highest number is 7. Okay, the highest number is 7. That's why I put 7. For x-axis, the largest number is 7. I will just label it 7, 7. So negative 7 and positive 7. Okay, so that it is symmetrical. So equal and the negative 7 in this part, and positive 7 on this part for x-axis. So that's how you make the Cartesian plane. You check the x and y. So first, for x, we have 7. So we have 7, so that's why I have 7, 7. You can make it 10 if you want to. 10, 12, okay, you can do that. But sometimes the, you don't have enough space on the graphing paper. So that's why you need to check the x value and the y value. For y value, the highest number is 5. So that's why I have 5 in 5. Okay, you can make it 10 if you want to because this is an arrow. It means that it is infinity. But sometimes you don't have enough space on the graphing paper. Now also for the graph, when you make your Cartesian plane, always remember this one. Alright, if this is your center, this is the origin. 
if you have one space for x, this is the wrapping paper. So you put your one here for x starting at one. So this is one. Of course, the distance between this for x, this on the right side, is equal to the distance of this left side. Always remember this one. And also for y, equal distance. What will be your distance on the right side for x? You also have the same distance for y. Because there are some students that they have for x, their distance in the wrapping paper is 1. 1 box, but for y, they make it 2. Now, your, your, of course, your graph there, your plot, the points there will be, you will commit mistakes on the, on the points because it should be equal in distance. Always remember that when you make the wrapping paper, if this is the, say, the distance from your x, one box. So same with this one. If this is your 1, this is your 2. So 1, 2. Right? And for y, it should be 1, then 2. Same distance. Because always remember this one. It should be same distance. Because if you make it this, this way, okay, for x, you label it 1. And for y, you have two boxes. And then this is your 1. So it's different distance now. So it's like this. If your distance is like this, you have one. And then they, uh, for y-axis, you have two boxes. And for x, you have only one box. So therefore, your, your graph will be, you will commit mistakes on that one. So always remember that one, same distance, okay? Always remember that the distance for x and y, it should be equal in distance when you write your Cartesian plane on the graphing paper. Okay, so let's start with plotting the points. So for a... We have 3 and 3, so you start at the origin. So if it's 3 positive, so of course 3 is positive, x is positive. Always remember this one class. Start at the x-axis, then y. So start at that origin. So you have positive 3. So if it's positive, you move 3 units. Starting from the origin to the right. If it's negative, you move 3, you move three units to the left. But since this is positive, so you move 3 units starting from x. So 1, 2, 3. So, this the point is here. So, 1, 2, 3. Now, y is 4, positive 4. You move 4 units upwards. So, if y is positive, you move upwards. If y is negative, you move downwards. Alright? So, for x positive, you move to the right. For x is negative, you move to the left, starting from the origin. So, once again, you move 3 units to the right. 1, starting from the origin. 1, 2, 3, because x is, uh, 3 is positive. 1, 2, 3. And 4 units upward, because 4 is positive. 1, 4, y. 4 is, once again, y. 4 is the y value for y. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this will be your, this will be your point. So, you will label this one. Some of the students, you need to make, you need to use another ball pen so that your graph will really, so that you can really make it clear for your graph. Because you will be confused if all of your markings will be all black. So, you can use blue or black ball pen so we have label we label this one a is 3 and 4 all right so a is 3 and 4 so that's number 1 a is equals to uh, no point a is 3 and 4 of course you can make markings you can do broken lines for you to really check that this is your point a so broken lines for you to be guided then you, you of course you need to label a is 3 and 4 all right, let's have number two, negative two for x. So starting from the region, since this is negative two, you move to the left, starting from the region, one, two. And since negative uh, y is negative two, you move downwards. So once again, starting from the region for the x, negative two, one, two to the left and downwards. This is negative two y, one, two. So this will be your point. So I will just make broken lines for us to be guided. In our label, the point B is negative 2 and negative 2. Alright, so let's have letter C. So letter C, we have negative 6 starting from the origin. So negative 6, 1, 2, move to the left since this is negative. Starting from the region, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And move upwards, 5 units upwards to the upwards since this is y is positive so one two one two three four five so this part all right so you put broken lines for you to be guided all right so this is your point 
and we will label that one as C is negative 6 and 5. All right, negative 6, 5. So let's have, let's have number 4. D is 1 and negative 5. So starting from the origin, positive 1. So move to the right since this is positive and negative 5 for y. Move downwards since this is negative 5. So move 1 unit to the right and 5 units downwards since this is negative 5. So 1 for x and negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this will be your point. I will just make broken lines. And of course, you need to label. So this is D, 1 and negative 5. Alright, so next will be number 5. X is 0. So do not forget if it's from the region, it is 0, 0. This one class in the center part is 0, 0. Now since X is 0, you will not move right or left. So you, could, you will not move to the right or you will not move to the left since our x is 0. So you will start at the center. Now x is 0. You will not move either left or right. So don't move. Just stay there on the center part for x. Now for y is 3 units. So you move upwards. So 1, 2, 3. This one. This will be your... Uh, you don't need to make broken lines since you already have a straight line. So this will be your point. So you will just label this one, E is 0, 3. Alright, so let's have letter F. So for F, we have X is negative 3. So you move to the right, 1, I'm sorry, negative 3, you move to the left from the center, 1, 2, 3. So you have your point right here. Now, since y is 0, so if y is 0, you will not move upwards or downwards. So just stay on this horizontal line. Since y is 0, so once again, for x is negative 3, 1, 2, 3 to the left. And y is 0, so you will not move either upwards or downwards. So this will be your answer. Alright, so our A, as our F, label this one, negative 3 and 0. All right, so let's have number seven. G is zero, zero. So therefore, this is the origin. So we will just label this one in the center part. This will be our G. So G is zero, zero. All right, so last one is H, seven and negative two. So for seven X, positive seven. So move from the center, move to the right. So, 7 times to the right. This is 7, positive 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, the point is here. And negative 2, down, you move 2 units downwards since this is negative 2. 1, 2. So, this one. And then, you make a broken line for you to be guided. So, you can choose any color of your pen. And this one. Because if you make it black, it will be confusing. So, that's why I have... Two, uh, three colors blue red and black so label this one h seven and negative two so that's it class that's how you plot points on the cartesian plane so once again x horizontal line and y the vertical line x axis you can also call that that you can also call it as abscessa so abscessa for x abscessa for x abscessa sorry Okay, abscessa for x. We have abscessa for x. And for y axis, you, you can call it ordinate. So that's how you plot points in the Cartesian plane. So if you have some questions, please do leave a comment. And if you like this video, do not forget to subscribe and share it to your friends. Alright, so once again, this is Teacher MJ. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.